my dear family of the Reform Movement around the world, may the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with each one of you. We are approaching a new year. We are coming to the end of 2019. How was your year? Sometimes we start the year very excited, we make so many resolutions, and we come to the end of the year, we look behind and we see that many of those resolutions were not fulfilled. So how was yours? Have you fulfilled all the resolutions you planned? And when we look back sometimes, we see that we are not able to fulfill many of them, we get discouraged. And we sometimes are tempted to think, is it really worthy of making resolutions for the new year? Yes, it is. And it's important to make resolutions. The inspiration says, resolution, self-denial, and consecrated effort are required for the work of preparation. The Word of God also says in Psalm chapter 65, verse 11, Thou crownest the year with thy goodness, and thy paths drop abundance. So God is the one that prospers our year. So for the resolution to be fulfilled, we need His presence and His direction. I would like to give you some suggestions for resolutions for the new year. Some of them are resolutions I have made. I don't know how many of them I will be able to fulfill, but I pray that God may help all of us to fulfill most of them. The first suggestion I have, let us spend more time with our families. Family is the most important thing God has given us in this earth. So let's take time uh, to spend time with our families. Those of us that still have parents, let's make an effort to visit them more often, to pay more attention to their needs and help them out those of us that have children. Let us instruct them more in the Word of God, spend more time with them. Another resolution I would like us to share during this new year is control our appetite. We need to improve our diet, our health reform. We cannot stop growing every day. I know all of you have come to a point, but God is calling all of us to step one more step above from where we are. Another suggestion. Participate more of the church meetings. How many youth conventions have you visited this year? How many conference camp meetings have you attended? Let's improve it and visit even more. Do you know that when you go to a youth convention to attend a church meeting, you are actually returning your second tithe? Yes, part of the second tithe was designated for the Israelites to attend the camp meetings and go to Jerusalem and participate in the festivities. Another resolution, let's improve our debts, and if possible, get rid of all our debts and not incur in new debts during this new year. Let's pray, ask God His blessings, be faithful in our tithe and offering, and ask the Lord to help us to get out of debts during the year that is coming now. Another resolution that is very important is enjoy more your, our lives. We spend time sometimes so stressed Let's have less stress and trust more in God, in His providence. Let's relax in His care and protection. Even when we make mistakes, when we commit sins, we are supposed to ask forgiveness. Let those things in the past and trust that the blood of Jesus is able to purify us, to forgive us and prepare us for a better world than this one. The last suggestion I have as a resolution for the new year, and it's not less important, than the ones before. Actually, I left this one for last because I think it's one of the most important. Let's spend more time with the Word of God, reading the Bible in the spirit of prophecy. They bring so many good things that will, you know, help us to avoid problems in our families, avoid problems in our work, in our school. And there are things that are there that we don't even know that they are. One thing that's very important when we do these resolutions for the new year is to follow the advice of the inspiration that tells us that we should take our religion into everything we do. So when we are going to exercise, let's take our faith, our religion to our exercise. When we are going to have a diet, let's do it according to the Word of God. So everything, every purpose, every new resolution, let's put God first and we are going to be blessed and He will help us to fulfill those resolutions that He sees is for our good and that will be a blessing for us. Another appeal I want to make to each one of the church members. Let's be united. The theme of our general conference was about unity. 
and we would like in these next five years to make it the central theme for us here, be united in Christ as a church. Be united in Christ, we are going to be united in everything, including the principles and the doctrines from the Bible. So let's be united and talk good about each other, talk good about this church we love. If you cannot fulfill some of these resolutions, do not be discouraged. Look to Calvary, look to the heavenly sanctuary where Christ is stretching his hands to reach out for you and to help you out in your daily walk with him. May Jesus Christ be a reality in your life and in my life, and that in 2020 we may all glorify his name in our lives. Amen.